So I know this isn't my normal content by any means, but uh, also a gamer on the side. I wanted to show that I have an AMD, or rather really an ASRock based AMD. It's not a reference card. However, I guess they use a similar design standard because uh, I keep hearing about the 7900 XTX overheating with junction temperature, 110 degrees, and I apparently have it as well with the ASRock uh, edition of the over OC version, um, Phantom Gaming, and I am running a Tower 100 Thermal Take. It's the Mini ITX. It's got plenty of airflow coming in the side over here. Got airflow down here. I don't have a game running yet, but I'm going to show you uh, down here as well. Not some airflow, but the power supply is here, so the, I don't think it's going to cause the issue, but that's where it goes. Four intake fans pulling air from the bottom on all sides, sucking it through the case and out the top, as well as the three fans on the card itself. Uh, two of which of these uh, fans are... Sorry. Uh, 3,000 RPM uh, PWM fans that I can turn up to Supermax if I need to, just to show... Sorry, my house is a mess. Uh... Just to show how and what people are seeing. So I'm going to turn on some Doom Eternal through the steam. Actually, I'm going to turn on the junction temperature monitor for us. So I didn't install any third-party tools. This is the one provided by AMD. If you go to Performance, go down to Advanced Settings, and say Show Metrics Overlay. Top right, you'll get the Metrics Overlay. You'll see right now... GPU junction temperature is 38 degrees, so the ambient temperature in this room is well within a means that this is perfectly running fine. Alright, so let's start up that game now. Let's do this one. Give it a minute. I'm not going to do much of anything. I'm just showing that the problem exists in this. It's not a horizontal mount. It's not a vertical mount, it's a hanging mount from the top, as the case was designed to use it. I want to also mention I had a 1080 Ti Zotac uh, Amp Extreme that I've had for years in this case, uh, running the same games without any of these problems, none of these overheating issues, so it's definitely the card at this point. So I'm probably going to send this back for a refund, because... I definitely don't want to take a chance at getting the same thing and having it be bad for the amount of money I paid for this. What is it, $1,100 from Newegg? So, sorry, it's taking a second. It's just, alright, let's go, sure. I'm going to open up a game that I already have. Let's watch that junction temp. It's going to take a few minutes, sorry. Maybe I can skip. And my buddy was playing this, so everything's reversed from what I expect. Alright. One-handed. Uh, let's go to just the very first level. Watch that junction. Look at that junction tent. It was 91 for a second. I want you to see that. I also want you to see CPU temp. So the current CPU temp is 50 degrees. In that same case. Alright, ready to go. I didn't see it, sorry. And sorry, I have the other stuff behind the other metrics, so it's kind of hard to see. But if you look, you can, you can make it out. Look at that junction temp. 77. Current CPU, 54. 78. Still 54 on the CPU. This is the video for the opening, sorry. 100. 100. CPU, 57. 101. Oh, my screen. Sorry about that. Phone cut off on me. So gaming is starting. I'm going to hold X to skip and watch that peg. 104, 103. Just messing around now. Woo, go in circles, go into a loud, a lot of area. CPU temp, 58. And look at this CPU temp. 
66, 65. It's kind of stabilized around the 60s. But the uh, 110 junction temp. That's a bit insane in a case with lots of airflow. GPU fan. I don't know if I should consider this now functioning or not at this point. That seems kind of bad for me. Especially in a very high airflow case. 110 again. 109. And it's not going to come back down from there while running this game. Sorry, again, one-handed playing is... I don't know how other people do this stuff. I'm just going to keep firing weapons and, because that seems to set it off better. 111! You saw it! I saw it! Anyway, uh, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. I'm probably going to RMA this, get my money back, and wait for some more solutions, because I don't want to be at $1,100. Anyway, uh, tell me if you guys are having similar issues. All right. I'm going to get in on there. 110. CPU, 66. I think that's insane.